Well, I've seen a lot of people now all of a sudden You know, um, people's talking about this I crumba thing, you know, and I'm like, what is people talking about? And Tiger. You know, Tiger did I crumba, and I'm like, and like, why is this being talked about like now? People was offended with I Cromba. Nobody said a damn word when Eminem did it. I hate fake outrage. I really do. Man, that's that's like racially inappropriating. And I'm like, so you can't imitate anything anymore? Huh? What happened to imitations of people doing a parody? That's all this is, is a parody. He's not saying, oh, this is how they all are. <laughs> it's a damn song. What is wrong with people, man? People are like really stupid. This is what happened when you don't think for yourself anymore. They taking that away from you. They've taken the ability for you to be able to think for yourself and move on. Now you're stuck with a situation where these people are out here and they moving in, in a way that don't make any sense for anybody else. They're always trying to program you and you got to apologize for doing absolutely nothing. And you got everybody piggyback off her trying to fake like fake outrage and I'm like are we seriously doing this <laughs> are we seriously doing this so if somebody dresses up in a sombrero they they trying to be Mexican and they they making fun they racist now like really He was trying to do what Eminem did when he had the my salsa, my salsa, my salsa, and the whole D12 behind him and some brails, and he dressed up like a matador. It was okay when Eminem did it. It was funny. Nobody looked at it and said, hey, Eminem is making fun of the Mexicans. This is racially inappropriate. When did this fake outrage era come into play? Well, that's that's always going to be the case. You got a lot of people out here that misappropriate a lot of different things because in their era and where they're from and their walk of the woods this is the narrative this is the narrative so if you know this is the way they want to come at you you know i'm not saying i mean the song ain't bad at all i mean that's all not I mean, I crumba is is Bart Simpson. I've never heard a Mexican say I crumba. I've never heard that a day in my life. I heard that from the Simpsons. Like if you watch the video, he has what? Hope Yosemite Sam. You know, he's in there dressed like him. You know, he's dressed up like Burt Reynolds' character was in one of the movies. Like the Colonel and all this stuff. He was dressed up in a whole lot of different, like, pop culture things and things that we can relate to back in the 80s. That's all it is. People got to apologize for stupidity, but the people that's really insulting you and taking your rights, you ain't trying to go after them for nothing.
You know, I'm not like the biggest Tiger fan in the world. I'm just putting things in perspective to where they're supposed to be. Now, when everything was going down the way it was supposed to go down, you start seeing a whole different foundation put together. People with different attitudes put in uh, in motion. I never understood why certain people had obsessions, like crazy obsessions with other people. It's nuts. I mean, Tiger Tiger has done a lot worse to get attention. Like everybody else is not even comparable. Oh, uh, people always do a uh, do something that's crazy to get the attention of the people. You look at uh, all of these different uh, what you want to call it entities. They all belong to these groups, and these groups tell them which way to go. I don't understand it. A lot of these people, they don't get it. It's these liberals that's telling you, oh, that's that's racist or that's homophobic or how are you gonna tell somebody and it's they always go after the people who ain't doing something. Why do they always do that? Why do they always go after the people that has nothing to do with it? Well, when the thing was going down, we were dealing with the blowback of the Highland Park shooting. Like, that was huge in this area. You know, my godsons was involved in that situation. Like, they were in the middle of it. That could have easily been one of them. Well, you got to ask yourself something. Uh, when you see people making demands, when you see changes made, or you see uh, different entities or different people involved in situations, you got to start asking yourself, well, why? Why did that happen? Well, you got to think about it. Um, you got 50 Cent and Lil Wayne, right? Lil Wayne had Tiger under him. And they had just gotten Tiger. Drake was there at the time. 50 Cent was coming at Wayne. 
Tiger was just there with uh, cash money and everything. And young money. He had just got there and they was doing their thing and starting to blow. Drake wasn't really feeling dude. You know, but he was part of the family, so. But he kept Tiger at arm's distance. Right? Tiger ended up going out dissing Drake. Drake told him, like, you need to act your age and not your girl's age. <laughs> right? That's what they told him. You need to act your age and not your girl's age. That's, that was the message that was given to Tiger. Right? After his interview that he did. So the Drake Tiger beef was going on. Lil Wayne was upset that Birdman let Tiger off the off for young money. Which exposed that Lil Wayne wasn't in control of none of the business. It was still Birdman. So he was gone off cash money. They let him go. And Wayne was like, why you do that? But you know how Wayne was with it. It was, I don't understand why you would even let him go. You ain't even made it, like half a meet with me or anything. You just let him go. I don't even understand it. <laughs> I'm sitting there like I'm rolling in blood and someone's telling me that we don't have Tiger no more. And I'm like, why Tiger is gone? That just didn't make any sense. Why would we let go an artist that I saw, I signed, and I brought to cash money? And baby, just let him go. That only makes sense. <laughs> yeah, money, baby. <laughs> I was perplexed. <laughs> so, anyway, Wayne would let that go. Wayne would have. Wayne was not wanting Tiger to leave, because Tiger was responsible for a lot of creativity that they were stealing from. Tiger got his release, went and did his own thing, and still was in debt with the other people he, he was in. So he was so far in the hole, there was no way for him to even dig himself out. Even though Taste went platinum, you know, that still didn't, that just brought him back to the light. So I Crumba was supposed to be his new one to bring him back to the fold again, but. That didn't have any staying power, but then all of the controversy started to come. Anybody who was Mexican or Hispanic who had a YouTube channel or a podcast wanted to speak out about racially inappropriating themselves. I'm like, I'm sorry, is this a motion picture where he's playing like Pablo Sangado? They got a black man playing Pablo Sangado! <laughs> <laughs> is he playing Cesar Chavez or something? <laughs> That's when you're racially inappropriating something. Not a music video. When you're doing a parody of different characters. I mean, so what they gonna do? Everybody's racist on In Living Color or everybody racist when they do sketch comedy and they try to play portray other characters. Oh, it's racist. So that's just what it is now, right? So no one could do anybody. You can't mimic anybody's voice. That's racist. You can't do this anymore. Oh, that's racist. I have no idea, really. 
Like, if you ask me, I'm really confused with a lot of people's, like, position on the team. As far as, like, who's on Tiger's team. Or is he just an independent artist? Because it seemed like a lot of people then, then stepped away from him. I never let other people make my decisions for me. I, that's one thing I had to I learn at an early age. You can't go along with what someone else thinks or what someone else feels. You have to you have to move along according to you and how you feel about it. You got to go along with how you move and proceed and, and, and move forward through life on your own entity, on your own energy. I can't do it for you. No one else could do it for you. If you make decisions, those decisions have to be made based on you. Can't let someone else make a decision for you. So the whole tiger thing was just like, really? Okay. <laughs> I uh, wasn't really expecting that, but I. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's a lot of people uh, just just totally doing things out of out of school, you know. And once you start doing stuff out of school, then it starts looking funny in the light. Things start looking real fishy, real crazy, and and it just don't make sense for the person that's involved. I never understood why some of the people did the things that they did. You know? It's just the truth. I never understood a lot of people's decisions. So if I didn't understand it, me jumping on board and running with it would just make me look more crazy out there. So that's why I never that's why I never really entertained the nonsense. Because when you keep playing a dangerous game with people's lives, it's just like, what for? All you're going to do is bring yourself down. I never understood why why these artists or these people of industry, if you would say, make the decisions they do. It's baffling. I've seen some of these artists in the game, what they're doing out here, it's crazy. They're doing ass backwards things and it just don't make any sense. But yet, we praise them. That's the first thing we do. 
We praise all these people for their nonsense. And it's like, okay, so that's what we're doing now? We praising people for nonsense? Bet. That's what it is. Let the nonsense reign in. They try to, instead of going to the people they like, they try to turn the people into what they like. That's what they do. They try to turn, they like, nah, you're going to be like us. Instead of just saying, all right, well, he ain't like that, so let's just stay over here. Nah, we got to turn them into what we like. You see how that works? They want to turn you into what they like. You got to conform. It's like Kwame Brown. And Gilbert Arenas. They want people to conform and turn around to... Like, we knew it was a matter of time, but people who can't seem to understand or see Gilbert Arena's attachment to Kwame Brown, I can't help you. Because <laughs> it's right there for the whole world to see. Man, <laughs> this whole world, man, it's, it's got, the whole world has gotten crazy. I say that in all sincerity, the whole world's gotten crazy. Three minutes, three months ago, we had the Oscar slap, right? We had the Oscar slap. Then we had all the fallout from the Oscars. And all of a sudden, everybody loved the Oscars and was everything to talk about. It became the news of the decade. We have spent countless times going over all of the events that happen in society and in every walk of life. And you know what we found out? We found out that people love to be controlled. They love for people to have their mind just completely controlled. They want their mind to not have to worry about anything. So they'll let someone make the decisions for them. So to be outraged over doggone I crumba when you have when you have um, you have I crumba and all these situations taking place and then you have 
Eminem who did it about 20 years prior. And it was okay when Eminem did it. <laughs> you know, so it's like, oh, it's Eminem. So it's, nobody said he, Eminem was racist. Nobody said any of these things. They said, oh, it's Eminem. It's funny. It's all good. And it, it wasn't um, no problem to to hang it up. You know, and to me, that's the best way to do it. You know, but damn, you try to tie it. They want to tie, tear down a black man every time you turn around. But when you got white people playing Mexicans and Hawaiians and Chinamen, and <laughs> they could do that all they want. They will not be called racist. And now, now it's like, okay, that's wrong. Let's go change that. But for a music video, parody, sketch comedy, okay. But for a motion picture, that's, now that would be different. But America had no problem in doing this. They've been doing it for years. So, anyway, I'm going to get out of here. We took this video way too far. <laughs> I just hate when they go through, do that bullshit and try to make somebody racist because it fits their narrative. I hate that shit. So, I'm getting out of here. Thanks for everybody who hit up my cash app. The cash app is Carcino, K-A-R-C-E-N-O. Hit the like button. I'm out the dope.